technology based non vaccine designed against emerging re emerging multi drug resistant pathogens and failing the various infectious diseases i am dr mohammad ali associate professor and head of department of biotechnology university of central punjab lahore okay let's we have a uh, very simple and very comprehensive overview of vaccine what is vaccine the first thing is that your mind what is vaccine and how we can make a new vaccine here in this figure you can see first second and third we have different kind of pathogens emerging re emerging drug resistance and all of these pathogens if you can see any pathogen which can invade in our body or body produce an immune system, immune response against that foreign particle and that foreign particle is right now we can call it as a antigen so our vaccine just like as antigen and all of the viruses that was might from hiv that was might be from flu that was might be influenza that might be sars cov 2 all of these viruses just act in our body just like as an antigen and at the same time our body give a complete and equal response to that antigen is called as antibodies so if we are sitting we all are sitting here if we can only learn about that one how we can compete antigen and antibody production we can easily design a vaccine so if you can see uh, most of uh, we uh, most of the uh, uh, infections can produce the antibody in our body but if you have a very new variant or if you have a very new infection the new bacteria like sars cov 2 what our body will do for that so that's the uh, main hypothesis that the main problem statement of my today talk that the fourth figure our body is ready to take a response against that thing but before that it is no response there is no antibody in our body so how we can produce the antibody antibodies in our body against that vaccine that is the main thing which can we can deal with the uh, help of uh, bioinformatics or we can say that the epitopes production so vaccine can be in weakened or inactive part of the particular organisms that's called antigen trigger the immune response within the body this weakened version will not cause the disease in the person but it will promote the immune system to respond much better as before there is a two different kind of thing for vaccine design one is the peptide base and other one is the reverse vaccinology on the basis of the mrna virus and our, uh, what is the rna parameters most of the vaccine uh, uh, we can say that uh, uh, most of the vaccine uh, were produced different kind of the vaccine they are focusing on the vaccine must be an active multi epitopes effective safe stable immunogenic so here is a complete methodology if you want to accept any kind of vaccine you have to follow these steps that from our school that of the vaccine are good on your responses or uh, cell responses and if you go for our immune system so we have a t cell we have a b cells and as class 1 and as class 2 and these are the list of the following tools which we can adopt which we can use for the concept of a good vaccine like first thing is that which i already mentioned as sequence travels you have go for the report you have to go for the ncbi this is more based better to better basically you can extract your protein and here we can uh, see this you can see that here that we have the protein uh, uh, second what is protein u ठीक है दैट इज दैट सम ऑफ द वन एंड ऑफ द बैक्टीरिया एंड फॉर अ वी कैन से दैट फॉर टारगेट टारगेट विच इज दैट आवर सेल इन योर बॉडी दैट आर पी एल आर थ्री रिसेप्टर दैट आर मोस्टली यूज्ड फॉर द वैक्सीन इंफेक्शंस सो यू कैन इजीली गेट आउट द प्रोटीन आईडी यू कैन द पीडीबी आईडी फ्रॉम योर यूनिप्रोट और एक्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ दैट दैट प्रोटीन फ्रॉम एनसीबीआई आफ्टर दैट यू हैव टू गो फॉर द स्ट्रक्चर एनालिसिस हियर आई हैव मेंशन ईच एंड एवरी टूल फॉर द कैरेक्टराइजेशन स्टेप्स लाइक these your chemical properties you can check your code with right now right now we have picked from that virus that protein that might be the candidate of vaccine so at at that time that protein which you, you can say that you look protein that is our vaccine candidate and their size is about 251 amino right now so we are targeting 251 amino right now but after that after the prediction of epitopes our size of that protein reduced to 50 100 or 120 epitopes so that's called vaccine construct right we are characterizing our protein 
So first thing is that you have to go for the video guiding and that's it. That you can use for us like specific road program, you can use that tool. Or you can use security index, already mentioned here, alphabetic index and gravity, alphabetic uh, nature of the uh, virus. Uh, after that, we can go for the antigenicity analysis. If this protein has the capability to become an antigen or not, that remains that for that protein. So we, we use, uh, if you have the value of more than 0.5 threshold, that we can say that our algorithm based value, if have, we have value more than 0.5, we can say that our protein is a target point, and uh, our protein is uh, successfully registered as an antigen. And after that, we will go for the electricity. And the second thing is that, first thing is that we have to consider that protein as antigen, and second thing is that if this protein produces any kind of the electricity or not, it's allergies or non allergies, then we can use. Uh, uh, in Aleppo tool and that tool particular said that this, this gives you a result in a very simple way. This protein is allergic, uh, uh, this protein have no allergy analysis, or this protein have allergy analysis. This gives you a result in, in, in that way, in forgetting way. And then we have to go for protein structure analysis, and further the, after the protein structure analysis, we can go for the protein tertiary structure analysis. Uh, very famous tool, you can use the IKZ. I guess it's really available for you where you can put into different, uh, 12 different kind of structure analysis of your protein. Okay, then next step, after then you have to take your protein. First step, after prediction, uh, after uh, uh, after identification, how you get selection of your protein, you have to go for uh, the second step, that is the composition of your protein. And after the of your protein, you have a third step, that is the most and most fundamental step for the vaccine design, that is the applicable prediction. In this table, you can see that these are the few peptides from those proteins which act as an epitope in our body. So, very simple way to use this tool is that you just have to open the IADP database. In that database, we have a B cell epitope database, we have B cell epitope database, and you have to just submit your protein sequence in the form of amino acid which you have extracted from NCBI. When you submit your protein on that database, it gives you a different kind of peptide in the form of epitopes. And then you have to link down these peptides to make a complete cassette of your vaccine. Here we can see that the four steps is that the vaccine construction. The first thing is that vaccine component we use. If we have B cell epitopes and say that we have a T cell epitopes, and how we can use, how we can link these epitopes? So we use our highly available universal linkers for this one. These are the, these linkers available for different for viruses, different for bacteria, and as well for if you can use for human, we are also available these linkers. The so first thing is that the linkers, uh, then adjoint, that's the 50 S ribosomal RNA part, and then we have profiling of these epitopes. So keep in mind, at start we use this complete protein, and after that, from that protein we have fine protein epitopes, and then we assemble these epitopes. After the assembling of these epitopes, we Go again, again, characterization of those two tools. Number one, antigenicity analysis. Number two is the allergenicity analysis. If these epitopes pass these tests and they score more than 0.5%, so we can say that our epitopes are, which we have predicted before, cross check right now, these are the, uh, we can use these epitopes for the vaccine construct. So here you can see that these are the, uh, this is our concept of protein. The protein size will be one, but right now we can see that, you can see here, this is our 61 amino cells. So here in different color, you can see that B cell epitopes and T cell epitopes, and we have linked these epitopes by the use of different kind of the linkers. If we have protein, um, right now we have the protein primary sequence, we think of amino acid form, we convert this sequence into a protein secondary structure, and after that we can go for the protein tertiary structure analysis, and two things most important, most of us will ask me in uh, different forum how we can uh, improve the score of our structure and acid level, different kind of protein acid, and structure level and tertiary structure level. So you can go for the refinement of your body. If you have a static structure, you can go for the RC plot at the Ramachandra plot. And if you have value more than 90% in Ramachandra, you can go uh, for further analysis of your body. At the same time, if you have a body structure in the form of it, might be your protein from PDB. You can, uh, I, I suggest you, you can go again for array tool for the refinement of your protein. It gives you, it gives uh, the value after removing different kind of the interaction and hinges and flows in your body and improve your structure. 
After the solution of the article molecule docking and separation analysis, for oil working with element knowledge, you can use the glass pro, that's protein protein induction, you can use bag cap, that's protein and ligand induction, you can go for the alcohol analysis, uh, the, those alcohol analysis we will say that you can check uh, your protein and your ligand induction at manually. And most of the time I always recommend for my student you have to go for the alcohol first. Then you can go for the bag and then you can go for the best flow. After this docking, we can go for the energy minimization. That we can go for uh, amino separation. Then I more pro is uh, recommended for you as well. You can go for this uh, amino separation as well. We have not only a protein and ligand complex as well as it will give you a different kind of the uh, eigenvalues. It will give you the variance and covariance. And uh, if your protein and ligand complex is uh, meet the environment of uh, these tools, so we can go ahead for the amino solutions. Uh, we have a snap gene tool that's paid tool, but you can get access of 30 day, 30 day trials, and you can go for use different proxy to make it direct for uh, we can say that 12 month. And this tool we have, we have all kind of the reactors available from this uh, snap gene uh, database, and from those database we can easily go for the expression analysis of our basic construct in any kind of the bacterial reactor which will present like more. And that will be the equal spot that we can go for the UV in vitro. So, the conclusion, and conclusion we can say that biomechanics are the essential components of a vaccine candidate. Uh, why we can go for the reverse technology? Already, uh, I, would, I already discussed about the significance of proteins. We need to have our uh, CD and then we have to go for the protein, and those proteins might be carried out through vaccine. And then the third step is that right now we are uh, talking about different kind of vaccine and we also uh, you have heard about the community, we have high community but right now we also need our super vaccine and those vaccines might be the future of our uh, struggles against different kind of the uh, diseases and one of the most important ones is the SARS-CoV-2. And here was the first article that was published in 2020, uh, that is the Journal of Infection Public Health, and that is the SARS-CoV-2 first variant, SARS-CoV-2 second variant. We have to go for the uh, second variant and third variant that from India and UK, and we have published in the vaccine in 4.961. That's our, uh, we have uh, heard some of the news about that uh, some of the fungus are important are most incorporated with the uh, SARS-CoV-2, and here we have discussed each and every step of that fungus along with that we uh, can say that uh, SARS-CoV-2 second value. This is my YouTube channel for biomechanics.